Hey guys, so today I'm going to print out another model. This one is a fox I found over on my mini factory. And I decided I'm going to go ahead and use some of this 3D Hero Gray PLA. Um, I've never tried that brand before, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. It's the only roll I've got, and it's not one that I really wanted to use on this project. But I wanted to use a gray color, and that was the only roll of gray that I had. I was hoping I had a... I thought I could have swore I had a lighter gray that I could use for different parts of this model. But all I'm going to do is go with the accents on this model with the white PLA from AMZ 3D. So hopefully between the two, they'll go together. I hate using two different PLAs that use different heat settings. But in this situation, that's kind of all I've got. And that's actually going to be a pretty good test for this printer, seeing that it's got two separate extruders. I figured it's a good way of, you know, have one a little bit hotter than the other and just see how everything works out. Anyway, I'll set it all up and I'll see you at the end of the time lapse. Okay, so that was 18 hours and 22 minutes and let's see how it turned out now once again this one is called the blink fox i found it over on my mini factory uh, try to get the camera where i can see it better there we go okay so calvin so i don't know what he did my uh, elmer's glue stick i normally use but i had to use some magic goo and oh yeah that came off nice <laughs> that's what they nice about night about the magic is it will it'll release once the bed cools down a lot better than the glue stick but i just i still like glue stick it's just one of those things it's kind of taking some of the extra little little pieces off here you can see where it's as it moves over to the prime tower it kind of leaves pieces behind yeah, it kind of does a little bit here on the model as well, but not not horribly bad. Heat settings wise, I could have done a lot better job on on the heat settings, but oh well. <laughs> anyway, let's take a closer look here at it. it. Looks like it turned out really nice on that gray. Very nice. The white looks like it transferred some lines that the gray didn't. But all in all, though, it did really, really good. I especially love the way that by using the two extruders, it just gives it a lot cleaner, a lot crisper edges when it comes to the, the two colors. But that just, it came out really good. Now, if only this thing did three colors, then I'd be able to take and do the little accents, like do the nose of black, and then kind of do a little bit darker above the eyes. But I did all that in the white. But turned out great. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Take care, and I'll catch you in the next one.